Wow. I've been recording for a good five minutes and decided not to record, so I'm just gonna have to explain everything again. I rubbed the oil off of my eyebrows with this alcohol, and then I glued down my brows with Elmer's glue. Yeah, you might be thinking, Elmer's glue? On your face? Yeah. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking a spoolie and I'm just scraping my brow hairs up. And this is just going to make them flat and give the illusion that I have no brow under all this makeup we're about to put over. Next I'm going to take some kind of flat object. This is just a little foundation bottle and I'm actually going to push it against my brows. This is going to help them lay much more flatter and it's going to make sure all the glue gets in those little tiny holes. Okay, period. My brows are now covered and I'm taking a little bit of alcohol on a toilet paper and I'm rubbing the glue off. Just the excess glue that's over because I don't want it to mess up my makeup later. Okay, so while we're waiting for my eyebrows to dry, I'm actually going to be popping in my contacts. These contacts are from Lux Babe Fashion on Instagram. I will put their link down below. Surprisingly enough, if you go on their website and decide to order a couple of things, you can actually use my code AMOREENV at checkout for 15% off your purchase. They are such a good company. They have lashes, they have different cosmetics, and they have contacts. These contacts are in the shade Mystical, and they're really, 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 really good. So what I found is that these are actually a really good dupe for the Innocent White Lenses by Daiso. Those are the lenses that a lot of kids use. I just don't want to pay $60 for some contacts, so I'm not going to. These were actually, I got them on sale, they were only $15. Regular, they're about $30. But once again, you can use my code AMOREENV at checkout. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting on the second layer of glue. I usually do about four of these just because my eyebrows are so thick. I plan on shaving them off when the time comes, but that time is not now. As I was saying, we are going to be putting these contacts in. These give the illusion that your eyes are like a really, really nice crystal blue. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it is on my finger. The contact looks like this. So I just take it on my finger, open my eye down here, and then I just slide it in on top and look already I have the illusion of a blue eyed daddy. So what I'm actually going to be doing is putting in a little bit of eye drops because my eyes are really really sensitive and they tend to get red. I'm just doing that now before any makeup goes on my face because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah just take a look and see this eye compared to this eye. It is a really 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 transformative illusion and for the price that you know I love saving money. So now I'm gonna put in the right one. So this didn't wanna go on my eye, which is okay, I guess. I mean, look, the illusion, period. Okay, so my contacts are in, and now I'm going to be going in with my third layer of glue for my eyebrows. All right, and now I look correct. I'm gonna wait for this final layer to dry and I will be back in one second. So now I'm going to be covering my brows with some powder and of course we are going to be using the classic Cody Airspun. This is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage, meaning really, really extra strength clear. So I'm just taking some powder on the little puff it came in and I'm kind of placing that in my brows just to lock them in. Really going hard because I want to get all of the product in those little crevices so my brows look super, super smooth. Taking a big fluffy brush, I'm just going to be dusting all of this off. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Poreless Pretty Primer. This is a really, really nice primer. I have been using this. It's almost gone for all of the looks I'm doing. Which, speaking of... If you haven't seen the looks I'm doing, maybe you should go follow my Instagram. It is at AmoreNV. I'll put it on the screen and the link will be in the description. Just taking some of this primer and putting it on different areas of my face. I go really heavy handed with my primer because I wear so much makeup. But if you're going for normal everyday outerwear, you probably don't need this much on your skin. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to moisturize. Wow. My skin is going to be great tomorrow. So now that my brows are locked in place, I'm actually going to be color correcting. And for this, I'm going to be using 
the LA Girl Pro Conceal color correcting shade. Yeah, orange corrector. And I pretty much just focus this on my mustache, on my chin right here, my sideburns, and then on my eyebrows. Everything is color corrected, and now I'm going to be going in with another layer of powder. This is just the same powder I used earlier. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade 310 Sun Beige, which is not my shade. I'm going to be squirting a little bit of product onto this really, like, fluffy, dense brush. And I'm going to just be focusing that on my eyebrows. And just like that, I have no eyebrows. This is an extra precaution. I'm going to be going back in with the powder and setting my brows once more. This is just going to be adding an extra layer of coverage. I'm going in and doing my brow coverage once again, just so I don't have any flyaways when I'm dancing and performing. Okay. So now that my brows are covered, I'm going to be starting with my brow highlight. For this, I'm going to be taking the P. Louise base in the shade Zero. And this is just the white shade. I'm just squirting a little bit onto my hand right here. Yeah, I go from where my brow starts down here. And then take it uh, Oh crap, I already messed up. Nice. Period. Going back in with a similar brush, this is another brush, it's just really fluffy and dense. I'm going to be patting this in. They call me Senora Patchy because my makeup is fucking patchy. Now that my highlight is done on this side, I'm going to be doing it on this side and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my eyebrow highlight is done, we're going to start with my eyes. Taking the P. Louise base once again, I'm going to just double a little bit onto my eye. I'm going to do the same thing, really stipple it in there. To start off, I'm going to be using my James Charles palette. She has been through a moment. I'm going to be taking the dark green shade called Daddy, which is down here, this one, on a little pencil brush. And I'm going to take that and outline my crease with it. I'm just stamping it on because this product works best when you stamp it on. So what I'm doing right now is just forming my basic crease shape. So when we go in and put on more colors later, my crease will look defined. So now that it's all packed on, I'm going to be taking an angled fluffy brush. I'm going to be dipping into the shade right next to it, the lighter green shade called Social Blade. And I'm kind of just going to pack that on top. And then what we're going to do after is blend the two together. So taking a fluffy brush with a little bit of the shade Social Blade on it, I'm going to tap the excess off and now I'm going to be blending this into oblivion. On the same brush, I'm going into the yellow shade called B, and I'm going to be blending out this lighter green on top. With the same brush I used earlier, I'm going to go into the shade Cola, which is down here, this darker blue. And I'm going to just define my crease a little bit more. Taking that brush again we have with the yellow and I'm just blending it. Alright, my blending is done and now I'm going to do this eye off camera and then I will come back so we can cut my crease. It looks super messy right now, but that's not something concealer can you know, fix. So next, I'm going in with this flat concealer brush and more of my foundation, and I'm going to be cutting my crease. Right. 
right this crease is cut and now I'm going to be doing this side. I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that green of that dark green shade called daddy on this brush and I'm going to be marking out my crease a little bit better just to make it more defined. Now that my crease is cut and we are done with my eyes for the most part, I'm going to be doing my foundation now. So I'm going to be using the same foundation as earlier on this little brush, but actually, let me just... So I just put more foundation on and now I'm doing my face. I use the same brush just to blend everything out and then I go back in with the beauty blender just to get a much more airbrushed and refined look. So you might be thinking, wow, that's not his shade. And you're right. But um, right now we just gotta work with what we have. Alright, so now since I've slathered myself in foundation, I'm going to be concealing, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Concealer in the shade C8. I'm focusing this on the areas that I want to be highlighted. I can't find my other blender, I guess it just mysteriously decided to walk away and disappear. I'm gonna be using this old one, I don't know where it's from, but it's really really old. I hate using this one, I use it for my color correcting, but once again we have to make do with what we have. Alright, so now that my highlight is on, I'm going to go in with my contour. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Espresso. What I recently started doing is blending in my contour with a brush like this. I don't know why, but it makes the final product look so good and like I actually have cheekbones. So this might not be enough right now. I don't like going heavy handed with the cream contour because if I use too much, it's not gonna come off. I went a little heavy handed on my nose contour, and I'm really hoping that that's not gonna make a bad change because this look was actually turning out kind of good. So I'm fully contoured, fully highlighted, and before I put my powder on, I'm going to do my brows. So I start off by using an angled brush, this one is by Elf. I'm going to be using my NYX Tame and Frame Eyebrow Pomade for my brows. This is a really, really good dupe for the Anastasia. It works really, really well. I really enjoy it. I start, as you can see, I use the eyebrow highlight that I did earlier as a guide for where I want my bottom line to go. So... This kind of messed up a little bit, but I can always go in with concealer and fix that. Okay, so my eyebrow looks a little crusty right now. I'm blending in the front with the leftover product that was left on this little blending sponge. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Um, horrible. Alright, my first brow is done. I'm going to be doing the second one off camera and I will be right back.
All right, so my eyebrows are now finished and I'm looking kind of good, okay, period. Okay, and now we can powder and set everything down. I'm actually going to be dipping into the green a little bit again and because of all that powder, it kind of like faded stuff out. Next step is contour. I'm going to be taking these two shades right here from the Morphe 39A palette. This makes my perfect contour color. And I'm just going to be going ham. For blush, I'm going back into the Jim Charles palette and I'm going to be using the shade 10% off mixed with the shade Mary and this is going to make like a really, really nice rosy peach kind of color. And now I'm just going to be focusing this on the apples of my cheek. So before I put on powder, I'm going to be doing a little bit of pre-highlight. I'm going to be using the shade Wisp by ColourPop. This is the Makeup Revolution Baking Powder in the shade Ghost. I use this under my eyes because it gives more of like a highlight. Alright, so I've been gone a hot second, I finished my eyeshadow, I dusted off all the powder, and now what I'm doing is going back in and refining some of the areas that may have lost a little bit of color payoff due to the powders. Okay, everything's looking pretty. Snatched. I'm going to put on some lipstick, put on mascara and my eyelashes, and I will be back with the final look. This is the final look. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching. I honestly am in love. This is so like very like high fashion, very like just like femme fatale fantasy. I love it. If you would like to stay updated with me and my shenanigans, you can follow me on social media. My Instagram is at OmarEnvy. My Snapchat is at NinjaPanda594. And I don't have a Twitter. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And hopefully, I will see you guys soon. Bye!